Bonafide Hustler here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you 12 items that I flipped locally. What's going on, guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler comes to you live from the inside of my living room, and let's get right to the video. Let's take a look at 12 items that I flipped locally. Let's get a little cheddar slideshow going. All right, so the very first item actually is a Bojan Manfrotto tripod. This tripod was actually found at a garage sale. It is a really nice tripod. It's very sturdy. Uh, I wouldn't quite call it compact, but it's extremely well built. And all of the little knobs and everything that rotate uh, to extend the legs or to pan tilt, all that kind of stuff is made out of some sort of metal. So none of this stuff is plastic. And that's the reason why a lot of people like Bojan Manfrotto tripods is because they last a long amount of time. Anytime you're dealing with tripods, you definitely want to understand that, uh, especially the higher grade tripods, there's going to be a base and there's going to be a head. In this picture, you can see the head. And on Bojan Manfrotto tripods, the head and the base both have different four digit numbers. And that really helps people locate, um, you know, if they're a buyer or if they're a prospective buyer, it helps them locate the listing that might have the head that they want, or maybe the head and base combo of the tripod that they're looking for. So here we can see that. This tripod is a 30-30 head, uh, three-way pan tilt. Um, we can take a look at the other pictures of this tripod, and we can see that, you know, you can just look at the construction, and you know it's awesome construction. It's not uh, flimsy. It's not some junky thing you find at CVS or anything like that. This is a real tripod. And for the money, I mean, for five bucks at a garage sale, I could not beat this deal. So you can look at the legs. The legs are undinged, undamaged. It's really hard to, you know, cause damage on these tripods. And as we go further down the legs, you can see we get to the very final piece, which is the knobs that you rotate to extend the legs out. All these knobs are made out of some sort of a metal, and it looks awesome um, and it's extremely extremely durable um, you can see here's the Manfrotto distributed by Bojan right there the sticker on the tripod and here's a more closer look at the actual three-way pan tilt head right there the 3030 head and um, once you get to the head portion you want to take a look on top because there's also an, uh, an actual piece that attaches to the camera and on some tripods that piece is a quick release or it's actually a quick connect and sometimes it's a quick release as well so this one kind of has both. You can see a little thumb thing on the side there on the top right side. That's a little thumb thing to get the thing out, but it's also a snap in piece um, when you have it on a camera. So if you have it on a camera, um, you can have a bunch of these little plates uh, on different cameras and you can interchange your cameras quickly on these tripods if you have a quick um, a quick grab kind of uh, top right there. So this one grabs automatically, it's spring loaded, and as you open it up, the spring remains open and it's waiting for the next plate to go in really quickly instead of screwing in uh, that screw that you see in the plate into a different camera each and every time. So that's uh, the find number one. That was a $5 find sold locally on Facebook Marketplace for $80. Let's look at find number two, which are these awesome inline roller skates or roller blades, I guess, that I found at a Goodwill for around 13 or maybe $14. Anyways, these were, I, I just knew when I had these, it's a pretty good home run kind of item. Now these are inline speed skates and I do emphasize the whole speed kind of thing because this is not freestyle and this is not um, just leisurely kind of rollerblading. These are really meant for people that enjoy speed and going really, really fast. Um, think about long straightaways and long sweeping turns, that kind of stuff. So as stated, these things were found for around 13, 14 bucks and one of the lead things that I noticed was the carbon fiber kind of subframe of these skates and you can see it in this picture right here. I mean, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's you can even see the weave of the carbon fiber. Let's take a look at a closer look at this whole thing, and you can just see now uh, that this is you know when it was a brand new skate, this was a skate that was around a hundred and uh, you know eighty plus dollar skate, and of course now when it resold locally, I was able to eke out about ninety bucks on this. But yeah, you can see from this front wheel pick that this thing's not really used that much. And uh, it was a no-brainer at $14. And I'm super glad that I was able to sell it locally for 90 bucks. These kind of things can sell on eBay. But a lot of times the shipping and the length of the skate, they're, they're kind of bulky items and they kind of tend to weigh a fair amount. Even though they look really light, uh, they definitely fit in a, maybe a medium-sized uh, Walmart box. So, uh, you know, not really friendly for shipping. But definitely something if you live in an active town you should be looking for. All right, so the next item right here, we have some dumbbells. Now, the interesting thing about 
about these dumbbells is I didn't find them at a thrift store or a garage sale or anything like that, but I got a lead from a thrift store while I was perusing inside and I actually had some adjustable dumbbells in my cart. I was going to put them, uh, I was actually thinking about purchasing them, but I was about to put them back because I saw, I saw a pretty serious flaw in them and a guy came up to me and said, um, you know, are you going to be using that? And so, or are you going to be buying that? And I said, you know, you can have them. And he's like, I got some pretty big ones in my house if you want them, uh, but they're in pretty poor shape. And I was thinking, well, I mean, how bad can they be? And he was like, I was just selling to you for like 20 bucks. And he described them as blockish type weights. And so I kind of knew exactly what he was talking about. All right. So basically late night, you know, I go over to his place and I pick these things up for 20 bucks. And these are definitely awesome. They're called power blocks. They go up to about 50 to 55 pounds. And uh, these things right here you should definitely be on the lookout for them because not only are they one of the industry's safest adjustable dumbbells, but they're really cool, and they've been around for about you know what seems to be two decades now. Um, they have an interesting way of picking them up through the middle, as you can see with the handle right there. And they're they're very easy to spot because they have that blockish kind of exterior. These things sold within a couple of days for a hundred dollars. Okay, next find. This was actually a find from Colorado. And when I go on vacation, I always tend to uh, go to thrift stores and I try to uh, see if I can make the amount of money that I spent on the trip. I see if I can make that same amount or more. Uh, just by flipping items that I find from, you know, distant towns and stuff. So this was found in Durango, Colorado. This was a $55 bike, and it was behind the counter. I inquired about it, and they're like, look, if you come tomorrow, it'll be a half-off bike. So I come the first thing in the morning the very next day. I buy this thing for $55. Bucks, and uh, this one right here resold for 180 bucks locally. Really sweet Shogun Ninja. It's got a dual kind of tone or two-paint uh, kind of paint job and uh, you know primary color being gray and the accents are kind of like hot pinkish it's also made with tang to steel which is a really good steel uh, tubing brand it's also a full Shimano 600 group set all the way to the crank set shifters everything derailers the whole uh, drivetrain Shimano 600 as you can see right here this bike was in an awesome condition it just needed some air in the tires and uh, yeah a $55 uh, investment turned into 180 in two seconds. Guys, if you want to learn a little bit more about this kind of stuff, you have to check out Bikes. Two bucks. Next awesome find, which is actually shoes to bucks oriented. That's right. I have a guide for that as well. But anyways, these are Hunter boots. They were found at the thrift store for $11 and they resold locally for 60 bucks. Now, Hunter boots, when I resell them, I find some glossy ones and I find some with this white kind of haze to them. It really doesn't matter. I'm not in the shoe cleaning kind of business or anything like that. I sell them as is and as I find them, uh, this is probably the 15th, maybe 20th pair of Hunter boots I've ever resold. Um, they're just easy to spot, easy to resell sell and um, yeah they're classified as rain or water boots this should be a no-brainer anytime you see hunter boots you should definitely pick them up uh, if it's a really good price again my price on these were $11 they resold for 60 locally this was a Facebook marketplace deal totally awesome all right, let's switch gears. Let's learn about some bags real quick. Bags to bucks, guys. All right, so this right here is a Timbuktu classic messenger style bag. Now, I say classic because it has that classic style to it, but it is far from classic. In fact, this is one of the more improved models where you can put the laptop in there and uh, has easy access to the laptop compartment by a zipper in the back, which you can't really see right here. But anyways, this thing's really cool, and um, it was in perfect condition. It was a $7 find, if I'm not mistaken. They can actually $8 find at a Goodwill, and it resold locally for $40. Now, most of the times when I find Timbuktu's these days, I do not put them on eBay. If it's a really good one, or if it's even one of the backpacks, I will put this stuff on local avenues. And uh, you can definitely eke out a little bit of money by selling them there. But Timbuktu bags are awesome, and you definitely want to check out the ones, especially when they have the laptop compartment, as you can see right here in this picture, with the red kind of padding to it. Uh, but yeah, they're, they come in two really distinct sizes. I want to, well, maybe three but like I think it's a, mar a medium large and an extra large um, but most of the times you're going to be finding the one that fits the, si the 15 by 6 diagonal laptops which is the most common one sold and uh, yeah and if you're lucky enough to find these also with the chest strap attachment which kind of came with these things when they were new then uh, that's only just a bonus when you resell the item you can say it has the chest strap as well which is a diagonal strap that goes across your chest while the thing is hooked to you while you're riding a messenger bike but anyways Timbuktu messenger bags uh, look for them but definitely flip them locally
Next up is this Toomey bag that I, oh man, this is such a home run. Anyways, this was found at a Savers directly after a workout on a random morning during the week. It was five bucks. I really had to just, uh, you know, I had to like check it over and go, oh my gosh, like how is this thing five bucks? This is a Toomey Alpha, uh, basically a garment carrier with ballistic nylon construction and it's just in impeccable condition. Uh, the cool things about this, if you don't know what these things are, these bags basically, not only can you learn them in my guide bags to bucks, but uh, basically garment carriers allow you to take suits and like things that, you know, are freshly ironed and starched that don't need to be folded up into normal suitcases. It allows you to go, you know, on, uh, on travel with it basically without uh, wrinkling the entire, you know, blazer or garment or whatever you're putting in this bag to me is pretty much the best in the business outside of things like uh, Louis Vuitton Gucci and that kind of stuff but anyways um, this was an incredible find for five dollars it sold for a hundred and fifty dollars locally that's right 150 bucks locally so yeah learn those bags to bucks for sure this next find was actually uh, scoped out and found at a pawn shop it was just way behind in one of the glass cases it had an as is kind of sticker a clearance sticker for 20 bucks on it out the door and so i was like you know what i'm all in funny thing about these watches they're so big they're burly this is a nixon uh 5130 simplify model watch they're huge you can see here's my fingers in the picture um and it's a nice watch it's super heavy the battery inside is so so small but anyways uh a 20 dollar watch I was able to flip it on Facebook Marketplace for $80 to a guy who really likes Nixon watches and watches. He just wants a bunch of them. So anyways, he had a couple 5130s already and he was just like, oh, I was always scoping out for the one with the white face. And so there it is right there. All right, so we got a dumbbell here in the picture, much like the other dumbbell that we saw earlier. This is not as good, but it, the marketing of this company is just really good. So people think this is a really amazing dumbbell. But if you read the reviews about this dumbbell, uh, it's pretty much 50-50. Like, people love it and people really, really hate it. Anyways, this is a Bowflex Select Tech 552 model. Uh, and this is only a single dumbbell. I found this at a Goodwill for $25. Within two days, I had flipped it for 100 locally. And the cool thing about this uh, dumbbell is you just rotate the sides of it. As you can see, those little side rotating knobs. And you put it to whatever weight you want on both of them. And then you, once you pick up the actual dumbbell, it becomes that weight. So that one says 52.5. If you put the other one at 52.5 on the other side, you pick it up, 52 pounds will come up. So definitely be on the lookout for adjustable dumbbells. They sell really well locally. Next up, found at a garage sale for basically, I think it was $10. I sold this to a friend. This is a brand new tent in the bag. I didn't even build it. My friend expressed some interest in it and offered me $75. And since he's a good friend of mine, goes mountain biking with me and goes camping with me and my family, um, you know, I sold it to him for 60 bucks. So that was a quick flip tents. This is a Kelty tent. Uh, other good brands, Big Agnes, North Face, uh, things like that, REI brands. Um, good tents and definitely something you want to sell locally. Okay, so the next thing we have here is a Raleigh Scout 24-inch kids mountain bike. Bikes to books! That's what I'm talking about, guys. Flip bikes whenever you can, but you got to flip the right kind of bikes when it comes to kids. So there are really three brands you want to be looking out for. Specialized, Trek, and this brand, Raleigh. 24-inch uh, model kids bike a lot of times will come with a front fork. But anyways, this thing right here was found at a garage sale for $20. I believe I sold it for $90 or 100 bucks locally. It was a really, really easy sale. Uh, stick with the three brands, Raleigh, Trek, Specialized. 24-inch bikes are basically like the in-between uh, the 20-inch uh, wheel model and the 26, which is the adult bikes that you see, the mountain bikes. So this is like the in-between that kids kind of transition through to get to the, to the adult bikes. So definitely be on the lookout for 24-inch wheel bikes. All right, let's cap it off with another bike. Um, this is one of the last things I want to show you. Uh, this right here is a Trek Mystic, kind of a bad picture, but uh, Trek Mystic is uh, another one of those brands I told you to look out for. Um, the Mystic is the model. Uh, the Mystic is one of their uh, kids' models for the girls. Uh, so this one will have like pink colors, purple colors, a bottle holder in the middle, sometimes a basket in the front, sometimes a bell, streamers, and the newer models have a handle behind the seat. Anyways, bike to definitely look out for. This was a $10 find at a Goodwill. I was able to flip this guy locally for $60. It was a really easy sale. I like to only buy these things mint and in perfect condition because these are often given as gifts to kids. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you like content like this, you're learning some things, then make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy, goodbye!